goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. Um, and speaking of disease, let's uh get right off into group topic number one, man. Um, we talking about King's disease too. Um, a lot of talk about it in the media. Nah, it's um, not. Nah. Lot, lot of, lot of thoughts and opinions out there. A lot of people giving it, sounding off. You know, some people call it a classic. Some people saying it's one of the albums of the year. Some people saying it's whatever. Um, but we're gonna give our takes on it tonight. Um, and we're gonna talk about it. Um. So I don't know how y'all want to break this down. I mean, y'all want to go like track for track, overall thoughts. How how, how y'all want to attack this? But uh, yeah, yeah, man, I can give my overall King's thought real too. quick. I can give my you overall say. thought real quick. Okay. Um, here we go. Yeah, what the album is? Nah, it sucks. So it's a consistent thing. I tried listening to this a little bit, but I couldn't get through the whole thing because once again, it's a Nas album. The beats. It's, it's still Nas beats, so I couldn't really get past that. Um, his cadence is still the same Nas cadence from every other album, so I really couldn't get down with that. Um, good features. <laughs> cool. But it's still a Nas album. So to me, no. Just a no. As they say nowadays, nope. <laughs> That's a movie. <laughs> But that's just my opinion. I feel like I know where you're gonna go with this already, Pat. So you go ahead first. All right. I got <laughs> already. I got already do like like this wasn't gonna be for face. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Just knowing face, yeah. I just know this is not for face or whatever. But um, I liked it overall. Um, you know, I'm 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 into like New York hip hop. Or whatever, just just in general, or whatever. But I feel like I feel like Hit Boy actually worked with Nas, and he actually got his vibe. It wasn't like forced or whatever. Okay. Or whatever. Like I, I feel like they like a good fit for the type of music. You know what I'm saying? For Nas's mm-hmm. cup of tea or whatever, they 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 mesh well. Mesh well, kind of more mm-hmm. than like Kanye West album, pretty much. Gotcha. And I kind of think. Enjoy this. Now, imagine King's Disease, uh, the first one, that got a Grammy or whatever, but I like this one more than I like the first one. Pretty right, much. Right, and right, uh, okay. it seem it doesn't seem like it's Nas just rapping over beats. It actually seems like Nas rapping over production or whatever. A lot of, And a lot of times it just seems like Nas, he'll okay. get beats. He'll just get beats. And if he liked the beat, he's just going to rap over it or whatever. More so than like, all right, I'm going to get a... It seems like in his later years or whatever, it seems like he's real more... Um, let's say he's, he's real picky on the production more than he used to be or whatever. Like, I, like, I feel like at first or whatever, he had no choice because he was working with other people. He was just getting up in the game or whatever. So a lot of times his production was going to be A1 anyway. And then in the middle of the career, he was just, you know what I'm saying? He already solidified. So he just he just did any old thing or whatever. And then now it's like back in the game, I feel like Hit Boy is a good fit for him, I like or whatever. But um, the... um. The songs that I liked most was like the first song, Pressure, Rare, and Store Run, or whatever, because they just uh they just sound like the hip hop. Store Run especially sound like an old RZA beat and or whatever. I just like those beats or whatever. It just sounds like you anybody could just jump on it and flow and you could just run with it. Or whatever. Yeah. So well um I'll say brunch on Sundays and death row east were cool. Um it's funny y'all kept talking about the beats. Um, I even heard you say it sounded like an old RZA beat. Um, mm. I think that was the problem for me. Um, most of the mm. tracks just had very dry beats. And I, and by like the eighth track, I felt like I was going into like, like by the time I got to Rare, I felt mm. like I had listened to the same song a few songs in. Like it had mm-hmm. that. It's what I was talking about with the Migos. I don't know. It, it's something about the beat selection that's like very sane. It's like it's no mm. variance. So the 
when the cadence and the the general pattern of the beat sounds similar. It's just maybe a different way they use the instrumentation, but it's almost the same instruments even. Like, it's very... Mm -hmm. He got That's in a, a pocket, but that pocket was... He stayed in that one area, too. If he had a sprinkle, mm -hmm. then maybe a song of a different vibe here and a song of a different vibe there, okay, maybe. But it's... If them not. Beats, them beats was dry as hell. Um, it's not. I ain't, I ain't gonna never front on the main talent as far as the lyricist. Like, he's not. Nice. He, he's a top notch lyricist. Like, that's it is what it is. But it's really his everything else. What I would liken him to is like, if you have a battle rapper, right? They have the best, like, their writing is amazing, mm -hmm. but nothing else. They don't have mm -hmm. like that, <clears throat> that it's next it's thing. Uh -huh. That's what Nas is to me. His voice is very like monotone when he raps. So there's not a lot of like crescendo or feeling that rises up. It's just very like you stay in one place with it. Uh -huh. emotionally even. Like it's a very here. And for me, musically, I think it's more of a preference thing where like those type of beats and that type of thing over a whole album for me. I start to I start to lose interest in what's mm -hmm. being said because there's nothing else keeping me there. Like after a while, I'm starting to watch dishes. I, I, I'm over there helping with homework, signing uh, you know, progress reports and stuff. Like I ain't even I, I don't. You feel me? Like the songs I'm listening to them, but I'm not hearing them no more because by the tenth song, I am checking out because of the beats. Is really the beat. Like he could have had somebody else production. I give you an example. My favorite Nas album, which is not most Nas like enthusiast favorite Nas album, is uh what was the one with Timberland? Uh, is it I am Nas the Dumbest. The Nas one with Dumbest. you won't see mm -hmm. me tonight. You no, Nas won't see me. No, that's I am or something. Get your that's Nas. Because I'm gonna get my Nas had the uh, ten. Oh. Then 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 then. Can't see me tonight. That is I am. Yeah, I I know the Nas. Like I know the music. Like, With the, I ain't, um, that's why I ain't confront on them as an artist. The Pharaoh. Just, yeah. And Timberland had the John with him and Aaliyah. Uh -huh. Yes. That yep. album had amazing beats. That you can say what you want about people who like, but a lot of people who are like super Nas head, they look to a lot of other albums before that one. They often cite that one as like him going commercial too much. But for yeah. me, his content was still there. It was just the beats were so much more riveting. Like I stayed like that album. I could play that album from front to back, and I won't have no skips. Like I love that yeah. album. This, I will never listen to that album again. I, I can't listen to a whole Nas album all the way through. I, I've, I've never done. Uh, I, I have listened to multiple Nas songs. Don't don't mm -hmm. get it twisted by my opinion on his albums. All his albums suck as a collection, but he has individual good songs on each album. You remember, like I have songs that's in my list of favorites. That's an actual Nas song, even though I don't like him as an album maker. Well, again, here's the here's the clear it's the, the clear clarity of what I'm saying. I don't like his albums. You feel me? As a mm -hmm. project, that that piece of work he puts out as a as a a, a whole, it's never there for me. You feel me? Like, it's never boom, you got it. Mm -hmm. It's like to because to have an album, it's so many different parts of it that have to all mesh and click together. Um, like you said, we all said something about beat. I don't, it's like, I'm not a, a big beat person. That's not all I listen for. But if your beats aren't riveting enough to make me sit there and pay attention to your words, I have no need. Like, it's not entertaining. That's real. The album, and, and to put the money out there for a, a collection of work, you feel me? Because you go by the collection of work right there. That's all, uh, all the albums you said there for, that's all the music you said there for that album. I have to be that involved with the artists who say, okay, I'm going to go purchase your album. You feel me? I'm going to give my money to this album. I don't do that. You feel me? Like, I don't do that much unless I feel that person has put out a piece of work that I, I, I can appreciate. Right. You feel me? Like, 
I don't even feel like there's a lot of classic albums out there. Like I purchased very few whole albums just because I know so I, the connection of music as a I don't know with. Justice, so like, with no doubt, I got that. Because I like that collection of music. Illmatic, I didn't get that. Because me personally, I didn't like that whole collection of music. You feel me? Like, but once again, Nas is a good lyricist. He is a good rapper. He has good talent. But his his the albums just don't hit it for me. Mm. I can respect it. I can, um, um. Oh, go ahead. I, I, go ahead. I go was going to say the things that I didn't like about the album. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm going to Um. All right. Lauren Hill is a great. I love Lauren Hill. I respect Lauren Hill and I respect everything that she's done. Pretty yeah, I went to her concert about three years ago. It was amazing. Was she there? Oh yeah, and, and okay. rock, okay. and rock. Now she was okay. late, That's a but when she day. got there, <laughs> it was on the joke. All right, what she doing? Is, valid question. I'm, actually, valid question. I can't even get um, <laughs> If I if I were to give a non biased opinion off of it or whatever, and if I'm not if I'm not uh, Padawan that has been listening to Nas forever. He always uh, Padawan that likes chill vibes and boring ass rap songs. If I'm not him, right, and I listen to it, Lauren Hill verse sounds like every person that's in a um a open mic night or one of those like like etymology at ODU all the time or whatever. She had that same spoken word flow up there that like it, it sounded like she just started rapping. Like that is the flow you have when you just start rapping or whatever. And when you when you rapping things that end with T I O N and ology and uh, and philosophy and stuff like that. Or whatever. No, because Obama this is for the critics talking about philosophies. Yeah. So you can't diss that. <laughs> it's like you you can't you you could you that verse or whatever, the way he actually spit it or whatever. That's what like I'm no saying. one so that, no one can spit a ology ball be uh off philosophy, falafel rhyme like it's back falafel. <laughs> falafel. <laughs> but if if you like but <laughs> yeah, man, awesome. it's just her, man, her, 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 her voice, her verse. Like, no, I like the fact that they're back together again. It gave me that nostalgic feel, or whatever, or whatever. But that that flow, it just sounds like any old spoken word person that just decided, hey, this is the day I'm going to the open mic and I'm going to say something on stage for the first time. That's the feel I got from it. All right. Okay. The other thing I ain't like, or whatever. E M E P M D two, whatever. Like I like E um, P M D's flow or whatever, but it didn't sound like they were there together. It sounded like they patched that together in different, you know, studios and put it together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. A and vibe. then, and then Eminem just need to know. Sometimes we don't need everything on the menu. Sometimes, you know, I just might need a light snack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he did too much, bro. Yeah, just too much, man. It's like, like, all right. His his gimmick nowadays is doing too much. And it, it's it's pulling away from what we see his skill as. It's like we know you rapidly rap or whatever, but when you do it too much or yeah. whatever now. Every time you do it, it sounds like a gimmick. Every time you switch the the beat up so you can rap, rapidly rap on it, or whatever, it it sounds it sounds like a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? So no, nah, that's real. And I, I I know other artists might be like, all right, I'm calling Eminem so he can do that or whatever. But hey, other artists, the shit's getting yeah, old. Hey, other you know artists, what I'm saying? the shit is getting old or whatever. Like. Like a lot of like a lot of these songs, I feel like uh, I just feel like uh, some of them is like they won't 
necessary or whatever. I feel like this album won't necessary. Whatever, but mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's it's coming at. I feel like if he was to he dropped the album at a good time. The way last week was or whatever, it was extra, like it was like hip hop week <laughs> for the you. summer or whatever. That makes so sense. I feel like I feel like if he was going to drop it, that would have been the perfect time to drop it. It was like so much going on or whatever. So and the um, energy behind New York was kind of heavy. Yeah, so that was like the perfect time to do it or whatever. That's right. And and I and and um old hip hop hit um old hip hop rappers. All right. I love Charlie Wilson. I don't love Charlie Wilson on every song. Like, all right. You know <laughs> they love saying? Uncle like, Charlie, man. Yo, I love them. Yeah, Uncle Charlie is great. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you do it like, more, just more, like more. with Eminem, you wearing it out. Like, you wearing the gimmick. It was cool the first couple of times Snoop was doing it or whatever. But now. Come get some of the other old motherfuckers. They need some money too, man. The Temptations out there, yeah. they need some damn money. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Charlie Wilson, white wife, really uh, need to buy all the stuff that she wants to buy and everything. But some of these, some of these old uh, singers, they still got their voices or whatever. I know they do. Right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of wearing out. Get Johnny Gill. Get some of these old. Don't get that nigga. Don't don't get him. Don't get Bobby Brown ass either. Oh, no. What would Johnny do? Shit. It's just Johnny. Well, damn. He, he ain't old nigga. Shit. I need old niggas need money. Need old my, old niggas. My, 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 my. <laughs> yes, I would love After all the And, um, oh. I like Death Row East. I like Death Row East, but I can't listen to it because I don't True. like. I, I can't listen to it in end because it gives me the the feels at the end. It's like it's like right now, like I can't, like I can't listen to Mac Miller right now. I can't listen to, I can't listen to DMX right now because I'm gonna feel some type of way or whatever. It's weird though, but okay. I I can still listen to Sean Price, like crazy. But I can't, I can't listen to those or whatever. Like, uh. Um, um, I'll just end by saying, uh, basically for Nas, I think the album ain't. I won't say it's bad. What I'll say for me is it won't my cup of tea. Um, but I do get why like people who like Nas will like him. He did exactly what he does. I'm not bad at that, and you know what I mean. So people will like it, especially if you like like boom bap rap or like the early '90s style of rap. Mm-hmm. It's very much in that lane and like that nostalgic feeling. So I get it. Um, I won't say it's a greater classic album. No, I say it's a good album um, for those who like that style. It's a preference thing. But album of the year, I, I, don't, I can't go that far. So uh, All yeah. right. I want to say album of the year. But it's, it's a, if you like Nas, you, you won't like it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. If you're a Nas fan, you're going to like it. If mm-hmm. you're not a Nas fan, you're not going to like it. Pick what you want. Yeah.